Good afternoon class. Let's begin with separation of solid liquid mixture. Now what is solid liquid mixture? Such mixtures in which one of the constituent is solid, another one is liquid. Suppose there is a mixture of sugar solution, that means water and sugar. Now this is what completely mixed, you cannot make out which one is sugar particle, which one is water. So this type of mixture is what homogeneous mixtures. Now what a heterogeneous mixture I have already told you, a mixture of sand and water where sand you can easily see and you can make out this particle is of sand and this one is of water. So different methods depend upon different types of mixtures. Separation methods depend upon different types of mixtures. So first one we will be dealing with sedimentation and decantation method. Now what is the word sediment? Sediment itself means settling down of suspended particles or insoluble or heavy particles in a solid liquid mixture. Now in the figure that I is being shown in the slide is a mixture of sand and water. Now what is happening in this water is liquid whereas sand is solid right. So the solid that is settling at the bottom is known as sediment that means sand here is the sediment and the clear liquid that you are getting above sediment is your supernatant liquid, supernatant liquid. So that is water. So the process, this process is known as settling down of insoluble particle is known as sedimentation. Now the process of pouring out clear liquid without disturbing the sediment that means figure 2 is known as decantation. Decan means taking out of the can. So decantation is the process in which the pure liquid is poured out without disturbing the solid particle. So this method is used for heterogeneous mixture of solid liquid where solid component is insoluble and heavier than liquid component. Example sand and water. Okay. Now the third one, the third figure is filtration. Now what is the process known as? Now after decantation, the impure water you are getting, still the uh, particles of sand will be visible in water. The color of water will change, it will, you will not get clear water, right? So what happens? The process of separating insoluble solid particle from a liquid by allowing it to pass through a filter paper. You can see in the third figure that there is a fil uh, beaker, above that there is a uh, filter paper placed over the funnel, right? And the impure water is being poured out or uh, dropped into the funnel and there you have filter paper that will filter the clear water down as on and the dust particles or the solid particles will be trapped in the filter paper. So whatever you are getting down, the substance that can be used as filters here can be a layer of sand, charcoal, cotton, glass wool, unglazed porcelain, filter paper. Here you are using filter paper in the figure, okay. And even the stainer that we use to separate liquid like tea from tea leaves is a filter, right. The stainer you use it early in the morning, chhanni. That is also a type of filtration process. Now the insoluble solid that is left in the filter is known as the residue while the liquid which passes through the filter is called filtrate. Clear? So this is the figure that shows filtration process. Now we will be talking about coagulation or loading. Now loading, another name for loading is your coagulation. What happens? The process of helping fine solid particles in a solid liquid mixture to settle faster by special by adding special chemical to it. This is known as loading or coagulation. Okay. Now, as you can see in beaker one, there's a liquid of white color. When it is mixed with a particle of uh, you know, something present that is yellow color, maybe you can call it as a lead. Okay, when they are mixed together, the color of the mixture turns orange. You can see, now it is very difficult to separate them easily. So they do not settle down very easily. So what happens? You need to add a chemical to make the settlement faster, the rate of the settlement faster. 
so you add a chemical substance name to it known as alum now alum is what it is a powdered form of a substance that is added into the mixture and it will start reacting as a result in the third you are seeing that it is subsiding the, you are getting clear water and the orange particle is settling down by the addition of a chemical uh, these chemicals are known as alum okay and in the fourth beaker you can see a clear liquid so what happens uh, water from river pond or lake they contain very fine clay particles right to make them settle at the faster rate a chemical called alum is used which it dissolves in water and forms clusters of clay and dust particles making them heavier right and when you uh, making them heavier this increases what the sedimentation when the particles will be heavier they will settle at the bottom and above you'll get a clear liquid and as a result you can easily separate it so this process is known as loading or coagulation clear so in your book there is an experiment given uh, go through the experiment if you face any trouble still you can ask then comes your evaporation the uh, fourth one is evaporation now evaporation what is what it is a process of converting a liquid into vapor state by either exposing it into air or by heating right uh, in a uh, summer seasons you see that uh, your clothes wet clothes gets dried up easily faster rate as well, as compared to winters so this is what when you expose your wet clothes in air evaporation process takes place that means liquid starts turning into vapor state or at home when you boil milk or you boil water what happens uh, after reaching 100 degree centigrade it gets heated up and above 100 it starts boiling from 100 to above 100 it starts boiling and this boiling turns into vapor form bhap nikalne lagta right so this is what it is your process is known as evaporation clear then comes your crystallization the word crystal itself means formation of crystal so crystallization is what it is a slow evaporation process that contains uh, solid components at room temperature like pure sugar is obtained from a solution in water by the process of crystallization now what happens at first the sugar solution is heated to evaporate water at faster speed and when very less or uh, water is left or no water is left the solution is cooled and on cooling the sugar dissolves in it starts separating out in the form of crystal clear so this process is known as crystallization the last one yet very important process is known as distillation now you see the setup here the yellow stand is your uh, iron stand okay the flask the pink color liquid that is containing is your distillating flask then the vapors that are coming out is marked as vapors above you can see a thermometer then from this flask there is a condenser attached blue color condenser is attached where you have two pipes one inlet one outlet outlet pipe is there so inlet means from where water you will put on so water will enter into the condenser and outlet is from where it will get expelled out expelled out okay then you have a receiver or receiving flask where your liquid will be collected and this condenser is known as liebig condenser clear now what happens in this process distillation is a method of getting pure liquid from a solution by evaporating it and then condensing the vapors when the solution is heated the liquid component of a mixture evaporates in the form of vapor okay as you can see in the figure and these vapors are then condensed back into liquid form which is pure and it is called distillate as you can see in the figure now example tap water contains a mixture of dissolved salt pure uh, and uh, some dirt and all so that can be purified by distillation how the pure water you will get as distillate how when you start heating the solution with the burner you know very well that water starts boiling at 100 degree centigrade so in the thermometer when you can see that 100 degree centigrade has raised these vapors will evaporate and it will be after evaporating it will start moving into the condenser and in the condenser you have 
already uh, water so that will do what the vapors will again cool down and it will turn into droplets and as a result these droplets will be collected into the distillate form in the receiving flask so this like this you separate the mixtures through the process of distillation okay now the last topic is your separation of gas liquid mixture uh, the gas the mixture of gas in liquid can be separated by heating dissolved gas escapes from the liquid on heating and drinking water contains air dissolved in it and when it is boiled air escapes that's why you know that the boiled water is tasteless so with this we complete a chapter and i hope that this chapter was crystal clear to you go through the chapter read it properly and in my next video we'll be talking about the exercises and if you face any problem you can let me know thank you